Good morning, guys. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Karen here with another video, and I'm doing a simple recipe today. Um, one due in part because I don't want to forget um, mold cider, apple cider uh, for the family. And today I'll be using my stock pot, the Le Creuset stock pot. This is the 10 quart stock pot. I'm using some ready made um, uh, apple cider. I don't make my own apple cider. If you do, send me the recipe. Um, <laughs> apple sauce is as far as I get. Um, and um, I have some oranges and lemon here, cinnamon and, and anise. And I'm just gonna spice up this um, cider. Um, the reason why I'm doing the recipe is because one, we cannot end October without having hot apple cider. And hot apple cider will continue until the month of November as well. And, um, you know, so I just wanted to share with you all this really quick recipe. And not to mention the fact that we are painting our downstairs living room and dining room this week. So, oh yeah, and if you all want to see a video about that, or just see our process, well, what we're doing anyway, or the color that it is, let me know in the comments below and I will, um, yeah, show you guys around a little bit of what we're doing. But anyway, this is really quick, really, this is a really quick recipe. Um, the longest part is how long I let mine simmer. I let mine simmer for at least 30 minutes because I really want to taste the cinnamon and the orange and everything. And the other thing too is if you want to, if you don't have a strainer, um, you might want to use a cheesecloth. Otherwise, you'll have to scoop all of this out. But I'm going to lay mine right into the pot because I have a strainer that can just um, take all of the. I'm going to pour it through the strainer when I'm done. So let's get into it. So this is the easiest recipe ever. So you're just gonna pour in your apple cider. And I only have one gallon because there's not that many of us here. So I don't want any of it to go to waste, which it won't because it'll probably be gone in two days. Oh, it smells good. All right, okay. Just gonna put that in. And this is basically a pour and dump everything in recipe. You can do it, you know, as pretty as you like. I just tend to drop everything in. And um, yeah, I try to make this every year because, well, a couple of times a year, because we like hot drinks. Um, as you all know, we're like tea enthusiast. So this is a nice change up from tea. And if you're looking into purchasing this Le Creuset stock pot, I highly um, uh, suggest it. Is really great. Like I said, 10 quarts is enough. Um, it, 10 quarts is more than enough. I can even um, uh, seal lids when you're canning. I can can in this. I could do everything. So um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen the 16 quart, but that is really big. Um, I, I think I would only use it probably once or twice a year, but this one, I use it all the time. Now I'm just going to add the star anise and you don't have to, if you don't like a slightly licorice sort of um, flavor, you don't have to add it. Um, but I do have like a mixture of flavors and just one cinnamon stick because I don't want it to be too, too, um, I know it's not a word, too cinnamony. So I'm going to put this on the stove and let this simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes just so um, the juices have a you know everything has a some time to like really mix together so I will check back with you then okay guys this is what it looks like after 40 minutes yeah 40 minutes um, it's nice and thick and it smells it's a um, very a lovely scent. I'm, I'm saying that because I just got all the fog on the camera. <laughs> anyway, the anise, oh, it has a lovely kind of 
licorice cinnamon smell you can smell the orange and the lemon and I'll put that in there um, I have my two jars ready to stills okay so I have my two jars ready to go and um, I'll show you what it looks like after I fill them so guys this is the final product um, it smells delicious in here <laughs> And I hope that you all get a chance to try it. Um, Tis the season. I know I keep saying that, but it is. Don't forget about your apple cider. And it doesn't have to be basic. Add your lemon, your orange, uh, whatever type of spices you like. And um, enjoy with your family and friends. And I'm going to leave it here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.